That's recording now. Oh. We got some helmet. Yeah, we got some helmet. What one did you order? I'll tell you. Should we find out? Yeah. Go on then. Quite a different space. Ooh. Is he getting nice? What's that called? Shockwave. That's the shockwave? Yeah. Uh, the actual inbuilt Bluetooth inside the helmet doesn't do communication, but it does music, which is brilliant. It coming. There's no easy way to get this out of the link, so it's going to be a tilted slide jobby. So, got it. You got it. You got an Aussie spec one. Man was a bit graceful. So, that's the box. So, we got Marvel boxes. Um, to be fair, compared to this is a box, they've sent it in. That's Really That's a good quality, quality box. box, actually. Not to sound like that guy, but you know. It'll look my box. Look at my box. box. So, obviously, got the old Woo Rock logos on there. Nice. It's designed and engineered in the United Kingdom. You probably can't see that. Et voila. Et voila. So, what's in the box? I think it's a helmet. I think it might be. Uh -huh. So, what have we got in mind here first? So, so go on, you go for it. What have you got? I think that, yeah, small padding because uh, I ordered in a large because I've got a giant head. Same here. And we've got spare visor. I think that's the unsmoked one. Yeah, it is indeed, yeah. So you get the unsmoked visor. Nice little cover to keep them in as well. It is nice. Be good to go in backpacks. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, we've got clear visor there. I got two earrings. Ah, they'll be the stick-on pads for inside the helmet in case you're not running the shockwave system. Ah. Um, so you eliminate wind noise. That's good. Bit of posh. I gotta say, this box is really nicely made. I think you've um, a degree to get in yet. Oh, hang on. Pin lock as well. So anti-fog visor that goes inside of the helmet. So obviously I'm gonna have to get another one of those, but that's, that's really good that comes with it. To be fair. That is, isn't it? Um, there we go. Nice little pin lock to stop my visor shield misting up. And then helmet bag. Oh, ooh, lovely, lovely helmet bag. Does look good. So, you ready? You ready? We're going to do it on the count of three. Okay, I think I'm ready. Yeah. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Oh. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yes. That looks awesome. Yeah, so very cool. In case you can't guess, we've both gone for the Marvel limited edition versions. Yep. Um, I've gone for the Deadpool version because, well, it's me. If anything you know about Chris is uh, he believes he is Wade Wilson. Is Wade Wilson? Got Same looks, kind of thing. Got the looks from Wade Wilson. I'll tell you that. I look like a boom victim. <laughs> Myself and I've gone for the Venom. Purely because I'm a bit of a, an anti-hero fan, you know, like Wolverine, Punisher, Venom, that kind of thing. And I like the idea of scaring children when I'm at uh, stop on the light. That's before the helmet. That's before the helmet. I've got to say, I like the comparison of the two. I knew mine was a matte finish. I've not seen it on this before, but there's little bits on this you can't quite pick up. They're actually monochrome effect on sort of like blood spatters. But I do love the fact that they've got that down to a T. Mask the lot. I do like the whole like graffiti kind of on the side yeah. as well. There's all little tears and stuff on top of the helmet. And on the back, Rock's famous for putting their little logos on the back. So you've got the Deadpool logo on the back of that with the katanas. Got the old Venom logo on the back of mine. I gotta say, a so, lot, yeah. lot of ventilation by the looks of it. Um, nice helmet. Ventilation on top, front ventilation on the bottom, which they said they've improved on for the uh, EOX, which is what these lids are, the EOX of edition. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, shockwave on mine. Yours didn't come fitted, mine did. Yeah, someone's uh, so, got his fitted, so I haven't. So, shockwave on the back, so I can listen to my tunes. 
So yeah, very nice helmet. Ooh, light. Very light. Very light. I didn't expect it actually to be this weighted, so I thought it was going to be quite a hefty sort of lid. Um, the certified as well to was it R22-06, so that's the most recent safety. Um, carbon and fiberglass. Nice. Like that, like that. I'm going to put mine on then. Can't see. There we go. They're comfy. Very comfy. I've gone for an XL. Yeah. So I've got a round room. face. I've gone for And it fits perfect. Yeah, mine's a large and it fits great. Um, I know a few people on the, the websites had said they were having trouble before we ordered a lot of research on these. Oh, yeah. Um, they were saying they had troubles getting the sizing right for their helmets because they were saying they were, they were appearing to be a bit smaller. They're meant to be a snug fit. Um, on their way on the Rock's website, they do state this. Um, they're a snug fit. They're meant to be because they're you know, you've got to get them fitted. You've got to wear into your cheek size and all this stuff. Mm. Um, but I've got to say that's a nice fit. My head, I think they say to upsize them. Mine was a. It wasn't much difference. Wasn't much heads. difference. Like two centimeters to yeah. the size of a head. Not that you'd believe it because you've got a massive noggin. It's on my noggin. <laughs> But um, yeah, the uh, I think mine was a fifty-eight or fifty-seven centimetre diameter, mm. and yours is a size up, and they fit perfect. So. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, I can't complain at all. Really looking forward to getting out and using it and yeah. uh, doing a bit of a, I don't know, a couple of months down the line, a bit of a review, yeah, see how we find them. Definitely. That um, kind of thing. So yeah, just to reiterate, that's a large, that's an XL, and yours is all nice and glossy. Yeah, I didn't notice when I ordered it, mind was like all the sinewy kind of uh, detail that you get on there. When I saw it originally, obviously I saw the, the venom grin and the teeth and the tongue and everything. And I thought, oh, that looks cool. Give that one a whirl. Not realizing that there's an awful lot more detail on there as well. And personally, like you were saying earlier on about the logo on the back, love that. Venom, going Very up cool. Chesapeake's logo. Very cool. But it's again, the same mind the detail, the finish of this is like a satin finish, which is, I think, Rock's new finish on the helmets. Now, even though it's got the little monochrome bits of paint and blood spatter, it's also got tears, but the texture on the fabric makes it look like Wade's mm. mask. And to be fair, what sold it for me on this one was the fact that everyone knows Deadpool's helmet has got the little peak on the back, or his mask has. It's the same. Yeah. So that, to me, is a perfect, perfect addition. I mean, I know they've done Star Wars, and I know they've done um, Halloween specials, um, but these coming out, there was this one and the Wolverine one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there was a bit of a a, 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 a debate with the whole. Yeah, had like a Pedro moustache going on on the vent on the yeah. front of you. But on release day, they actually stated they were giving decals to go over these ports to cover it up, which actually looks really good. Um, would I have changed to a Wolverine one? No. No. Because that's not my favourite character as no. much as I love it. But as much as I love Wolverine. And yeah, if you go on Rock's website, like you say, you know, the images look fantastic and you get the decals now so you don't look like uh, Pedro, Pedro Bean. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Over Pedro. Over Pedro. Um, yeah, no. Awesome. Absolutely awesome graphics. Awesome quality. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up and using it. I mean. I can't, to be fair, I can't go with Rock. how much stuff you actually get with it. I mean, we bought the helmets when they came out and it came with the promotion of a free shockwave. Um, they do it quite a lot with the helmets. Um, and to be fair, the shocker system, I fitted mine um, prior to the video. And it's actually, you take all the padding out, put it in, and it actually went in really well. It all clips back in. So you get the Bluetooth headset on the, that goes clips on the side, and you get the battery, then it clips on the other side. And it's just a straight pop in and out on these. And it actually fits in with part of the helmet, so you don't actually see it's extra. Um, but yeah, the detail on the helmet, really happy with it. I think I made the right choice on mine. Definitely yours Definitely. is gorgeous, I've got to say. That's um, like you say, it's all the little neat little touches I like on yeah. those. I mean, you got his mask. I mean, on the website, Ruroc are pretty good with their advertising. I mean, a lot of people bash Ruroc because they either don't get sponsored by them anymore or they bought a helmet and it was an early one, which wasn't the best. Yeah. Um, but they developed this, their helmets and, you know, I can't fault them. The graphics and designs are probably the best ones I've seen on helmets. They oh, look yeah. like they're supposed to. There's only one other sort of logo that I changed mine for and that's if they made a space marine one. Oh yeah. Space. Make a space marine one. Make a space marine one. 
that, that would, would be a good, that would be a good addition to be that, fair. That would be something I would hang on my wall. <laughs> to be fair. Well, while wearing it. Do you, I probably wouldn't wear it. <laughs> I'd be like, yes, that's right. That's a space wolf. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah. So as for the <laughs> the marble lids, they look fantastic. They feel fantastic. They're lightweight. They got an awful lot of detail. Um, yeah, and like you say, value for money wise. You know, we had the free shockwave. Yeah. Get a, you get, Fantastic. You get two Can't visors, so you get a clear and you get a smoked visor, which is always out of stock on their website. Yeah. Change might smoke, it just haven't taken the decal off. You've got your smoked on your one. I um, have indeed. You, it looks dark, my side, but it's actually like just having a pair of sunglasses. Yeah. That's great. Obviously, that's the clear one you get. And you fit the shot, the pin lock inside the visor before you put it on. It's, it's so easy to take these visors off. It's like a button push down, pull out and forward, same the other side, and you just do the reverse, put it on. It's You change the visor in like t two minutes, if that. But yeah, the detail's fantastic on them. I'm glad I've got this as my lid, to be fair. Um, I think I made the right choice on it. You definitely made the right choice on yours. Well, thank you, <laughs> but um, yeah, the fact you get the shockwave when it's on offer, um, you get the extra pad in in case it is too big for you or too small for you to yep. shrink it down inside. Two visors, the actual ear cover and a bag. And to be fair, the box is... Yeah, I mean, when you buy stuff nowadays, because we live in such a throwaway society, yeah. boxes tend to be just a cardboard box. This thing, no, this isn't a, a boxing... That was a nice noise, wasn't it? But the box itself... It's good quality box. It's really good quality. And inside, everything's like phone fitted. Yeah, it fits so there's the no it's movement. To. And, and it... obviously, you've got the QR codes to scan for your user guide. Yeah. I suppose how to put a helmet on and off. Yeah. Let's be honest, some people don't know. No. <laughs> be surprised. Um, yeah, so I'm well chuffed with my choice. Looking yeah. forward to using it and getting a little sort of like uh, long term review. Uh, yeah, we're not sponsored by Real Rock. We're not sponsored by Real Rock. It would be nice because uh, Real Rock want to sponsor us. You know, I keep entering competitions to win another free helmet, you know, but you keep not picking me. Don't so, know why. Don't know why. Let's do something fair. But uh, yeah, the, um, i got to say, long test will be coming up with these. Yep. Um, but first impressions well up. fit well, look fantastic. Um, and I'm just chuffed to let, there's nothing more I can really say. It's, uh, it's a good purchase for me. Yeah, definitely. So uh, if you are looking for a lid that's affordable, high quality, and let's be honest, different, because ev everybody wants something different. Yeah. Every, everybody you wants know? to go full carbon AGV. I mean, I've never had one, but the, the price range on this, considering the safety level it's on, you know, it's a good price for what you get. It is, it is. So yeah, look forward to the next video where hopefully we've been out and about using them and we'll give you a bit more of an in-depth uh, overview of what we think. Wade and Eddie ride again. Catch you soon. See you later.